Today we're going to be pitching the Realme 5 Pro with the Snapdragon 712 with its cousin, the Realme X with the Snapdragon 710. 712 versus 710. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So on the left hand side we have the Realme 5 Pro with the Snapdragon 712. On the right hand side we have the Realme X. Realme 10, I don't know, which way do you think it is? Realme X, Realme 10 with the Snapdragon 710. So they're both running with the same screen resolution. They're both running the same version of Android. All things being equal, I suppose we'll expect the, 7, uh, the 712 to just beat the 710. We'll get into that in a moment. But as I'm saying that, they're both into the SQL light test. Neither of them are doing particularly fast. We've seen other devices really whip their way through here. This is actually quite painful to watch now that I look at it. This is not very good command. And guys, you can do better than this. Let's get this test over and done with on to the next test. But having said that, a slight lead there by the Realme X, but only by a fraction of a second at this moment in time. Now, when we get to the uh, GPU test, we're going to see whether there is going to be a difference in the performance between the Snapdragon 712 and the Snapdragon 710 with the uh, CPU, but GPU, but really it is only going to be a difference of GPU because the uh, 712 has got two 2.3 gigahertz uh, high performance cores, whereas the 710 has got two 2.2 gigahertz high performance cores. So we're looking at a difference here of just 100 megahertz in the CPU. And as far as we know, the Adreno 616 is the same in both of them, but we will really find that out when we get to the GPU test in a minute. And as we're doing that, we're now going through the 16 thread test. It's looking pretty much equal at this point. An interesting pattern on the right hand side by the Realme X there, different pattern forming on the left hand side as the scheduling is trying to schedule all of those 16 threads and a bit of a lead now by the Realme 5 Pro with the Snapdragon 712 as it was the first into the blur test and of course the blur test is the beginning of the CPU GPU part of this test run and then of course we get the GPU part of the test run when we have the Unity test and the Unreal test we're using two of the most popular platforms for designing 3D games on Android today which will give us a good idea of the capabilities of the GPU under these two in, uh, very popular platforms we're now into the smoke particle test again a still a slight lead by the snapdragon 712 what's the frame rate going to be this could be interesting 14 frames a second what's we have 13 frames a second. so there we go a uh, slight difference there 14 frames a second 13 frames a second so that's interesting for the realme 5 pro as we both now go with them into the ut test bit of a black screen long time loading this up there we go and now the first out of it was the realme x that's very interesting Snapdragon 710 in the Realme X was the first into Unity test. However, now that it's going, will it be able to do any faster? And we can see there both of them are running at 60 hertz. If you look at the uh, uh, the uh, resolution information there on the right hand side up at the top of the screen. And they're both running in the same screen resolution as we are going now through this flyover. It looks to me as if the Realme X on the right hand side is actually slightly in the lead. I think it's going to get to the end of the test run first. Yes, it has. So the Snapdragon 710 in the Realme X is coming to the end of that first as both of them now are going into the uh, Unreal test. And this really is where we're going to see who's going to come to the final line first. Now, of course, there is a difference in the size of the screen, 6.3 inches versus 6.53 inches. However, they both have the same screen resolution. So physically, bigger screens but however the screen resolution is the same the same amount of hard work to be done by the processor on both of these now of course of these two devices the uh, realme 5 pro is slightly cheaper than the realme x however we will see now uh, as we come down to the very last moments of this test who is actually going to get there first there it is it's the snapdragon 712 3 minutes 39.6 and then just a few moments later 3 minutes 41.6 for the realme me x okay let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened so as we saw the realme 5 pro finished the test in three minutes 39.6 exactly two seconds later the realme x finished with three minutes 41.6 so two seconds in it so where are those two seconds well if we look at the cpu time 135.6 versus 136.2 so as we'd expect the slightly faster cpu in the realme 5 pro and then when we get to the mix cpu gpu 37 point nine versus 39 so again a slight lead there by the realme 5 pro and then when we get to the cpu it's almost neck a uh, gpu it's almost neck and neck one minute 26.1 versus one minute 26.3 so 0.2 of a second but when you add up those slight wins in the cpu and the mixed cpu gpu times the realme 5 pro is the winner three minutes 39.6
My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, stick around and click that subscribe button. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.